Are there anti-aging benefits to red light therapy for the skin? Can it reverse aging? Red light therapy, red light therapy masks are something that I have been using somewhat consistently, but when I first started using it, red light therapy had become a very popular anti-aging strategy for the skin, and many people were gravitating toward this minimally invasive approach to skin anti-aging. Red light therapy has also been shown to be helpful for muscle recovery, and it's a very just well-tolerated approach to anti-aging. But does red light therapy actually work? Many people claim that red light therapy is good for boosting collagen, but is there data out there to really confirm this? Hi, I'm Brandon, an anti-aging enthusiast just like you, bringing to you anti-aging research, tips, and blogs every single week. If anti-aging topics are of interest to you, please hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you here. And please hit that like button as well. It really helps out my channel and I appreciate it a lot. While red light therapy is sometimes delivered to help facilitate the recovery and building of muscles, the benefits of red light therapy for the skin, particularly skin anti-aging, that's what we're really going to dive into in this video. First off, what is red light therapy and how does it work? As mentioned previously, red light therapy delivers a low level light therapy that relies on a process known as photobiomodulation. This is where really all the benefits derive. Photobiomodulation is a process that involves the absorption of red light as well as infrared light. This process, this photobiomodulation process, enhances not only cellular function, it also helps to mitigate oxidative stress, which is the key driver in skin aging. Plus, ATP is needed by the skin for things like collagen production, hydration, as well as antioxidant protection. Today, there's no shortage of red light therapy devices on the market. In fact, I even own one. There are face masks, which is what I have and use on a somewhat consistent basis. And there's also the full length body panels that I mentioned previously that I was kind of interested in getting, but I haven't yet. But again, do they really work? Let's get down into it. Red light therapy seems to boost cellular activity in the skin, as well as enhances collagen production. At 633 nanometers, red light therapy penetrates the skin, kickstarting a cascade of biological processes, including increasing the type 1 pro-collagen, collagens type 1 and 3, and according to in vitro research, may help to downregulate or inhibit to a certain degree MMP1 and MMP2. These are matrix metalloproteinases. These are involved in the destruction of collagen. They're upregulated by the sun, by UV, as well as visible light and pollution. By activating mitochondrial pathways in the cells, red light therapy prompts fibroblast in the skin to produce new collagen. In addition to growth factors, the result appears to be firmer skin, reduced fine lines and wrinkles, as well as just a brighter appearance overall. Now let's dive into the actual research, the clinical studies that are demonstrating these benefits of red light therapy. Despite being relatively new, red light therapy has garnered a good deal of clinical data to demonstrate its potential efficacy in skin anti-aging, among other benefits for the body. While some studies tend to have small patient cohorts, studies continue to be published on the benefits of red light therapy for the skin and anti-aging, suggesting that there is a consistent correlation between the use of these devices that emit these red light LEDs with improved collagen expression, as well as just a more youthful appearance overall. Small studies over the past few years have shown impressive results with just 30 sessions of red light therapy. Participants in these studies report softer, smoother skin with noticeable reductions in fine lines and improved firmness. Plus there's also evidence to suggest that red light therapy has anti-inflammatory effects this is important because one of the aspects of the visible signs of aging is inflammaging. There's an inflammatory process that is associated with the destruction of collagen, as well as the visible signs of aging. In one controlled trial featuring 136 participants, twice weekly red light therapy was associated with significant reductions in skin roughness, as well as improvements in collagen density as measured by ultrasonography. A systematic review of randomized control trials reported that studies of red light therapy show twice weekly use of a red light therapy device for four weeks improves wrinkles by up to 36% at follow-up when compared with a placebo. The authors of the review suggest that LED light therapy for about 8 to 10 weeks seems to be the sweet spot for when noticeable reductions in fine lines and wrinkles can be observed. A six month or longer follow-up period, meaning a long-term use of these red light devices, may be necessary to fully appreciate the skin rejuvenating effects of red light, particularly given the variability in the parameters used among different devices that are available. Another small study found that red light therapy was associated with improvements in skin elasticity after two months, reductions in the appearance of crow's feet after one month, and up to 
three months of use of these red light therapy devices, as well as improvements in skin firmness after three months of use. A small split face study found that an at-home red light therapy device, when combined with radio frequency, significantly improved skin firmness as well as skin radiance. This was compared with the side of the face that received no red light therapy that was just applied with an anti-aging cosmetic. Now, one thing I want to just briefly explore with respect to red light therapy is safety. Like I said, it's a non-ablative, non-thermal, minimally invasive strategy that is fairly tolerable by most people. But I think there is some concerns that visible light, maybe blue light from just any sort of light source can have an effect on collagen destruction to a certain extent. Because there are some studies that suggest that visible light from the sun mainly, but also from our devices, may lead to a cascade of events such as inflammation, oxidative stress, free radical damage, as well as the inducement of these MMPs, these matrix metallic proteinases that degrade collagen in the skin. I personally haven't found any studies to suggest that LED red light therapy emits high energy of visible light that contributes to hyperpigmentation as well as these other issues associated with the visible signs of aging. In fact, these studies suggest that red light therapy when used on the face and the neck improves skin firmness, which to me suggests that there is an improvement in that volume in the face. That being said, again, these studies are small. They're limited by these inherent you know, study limitations of the small sample size, the relatively short follow-up periods, and again, just the lack of study on the effects of red light therapy on fat cells when it comes to skin rejuvenation. Also, when it comes to these at-home devices, which again, I have, I will admit to that, compared to in-office devices or treatments that you can receive at a dermatologist's office or a skin med spa, or maybe even a plastic surgeon's office. Many at-home LED red light therapy devices may have lower outputs compared with these professional devices. In addition, they may just have different wavelengths. I think you might be able to buy professional red light therapy treatment devices on the internet somewhere, and I've never done it, I've never explored it. I've been tempted to, but I've never done it. I'm just gonna be sticking with this at-home device that I have because you know this can still be a great adjunct to a an evidence-based anti-aging strategy such as sun protection, sunscreen, UPF 50 clothing, retinoids if you're a candidate for like tretinoin or even over-the-counter retinols, serums, moisturizers, just taking care of your skin, your diet, your sleep, your stress, your emotional and mental health. These are all good evidence-based ways to just improve your overall not only outlook on life but also your appearance and just your vibrancy and your energy and your youthful vitality. For me, I use red light therapy conservatively. I try to reach for maybe two to three times a week because a lot of the studies that I have read, the participants tend to use use red light therapy for about two to three times a week. I've been upping my game when it comes to using my red light therapy mask. This is the MZ Skin red light therapy mask. This was gifted to me and I put a link down below if you want to check it out. But I really like this one because it has a timer and also has um, different colors that you can apply to it. I usually set it at the normal auto power and the red light color obviously at about 20 minutes each session, two to three times a week. And, but it comes with like the red light therapy, the blue light, green light, as well as white light, I think. And this has like different functions apparently for different, um, different outputs that you're wanting to achieve. But for me, for anti-aging, I just use the red light. And what I do is I just clean my skin. I have cleansed skin in the evening usually. Sometimes I do this in the morning. Um, and I moisturize my face so my, my skin's clean and I don't have anything else on it, no sunscreen. To be honest, I haven't been super consistent, but I have been using it off and on again for about two to three times a week. Here I am just like moving it all around my face and my neck. I try to get like all areas that are exposed on my face and my neck. And I feel like just the accumulated benefit, even if it's not sitting close to me, is going to be just fine. And there is a strap, I think I showed it to you just recently in this video, but there is a strap on top of the, the mask that it isn't super comfortable. There's another red light therapy mask called Omnilux is the brand, I believe, and a lot of people like that. I think it's even cheaper than this MZ Skin one. And this that one conforms to your face and it's also portable. I put a link down below too if you wanna check that out, but I know a lot of people really like that. Um, but yeah, I, this is just a, sort of adjunct that I use like it's kind of like my spa night I guess I just use this to relax and calm down and um yeah I really I really have been enjoying just the ritual of it but I don't necessarily know if I notice any appreciable benefits you know obviously this isn't necessary when compared with things like sunscreen and retinoids but that being said you have to be in it for the long haul because 
studies don't really show a benefit for, of red light until about, I would say, uh, six months in, maybe even longer. And even then, the, the benefits are pretty mild to moderate. But um, yeah, I really enjoy this and I enjoy using it. I don't see myself quitting anytime soon, but then again, you never know because I've fallen off the bandwagon time and time again. Do you use red light therapy? Let me know down below if you do or if you're considering it. If you do use it and you've noticed any benefits, let me know down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and your input. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below if you want to see more anti-aging skincare type of videos like this. And again, if you're interested in anti-aging, hit that subscribe button down below as well. I would love to share this space with you. In the meantime, I hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.